Whoa, she got a big block. Hey, I'm Tim. Welcome back to the channel. So we're here back again here at Heel Myers in Foley, Alabama. Had a couple special requests to go find a little more information on a Chevelle that's here. And I'm trying to find it. It's like a 71, 72 Chevelle. And then also had a request to look at um, a Firebird that was here. So we're gonna see if we can find this Fire Chicken and this Chevelle, take a little bit of closer look at them for, uh, for these subscribers and see if it's something that uh, they're interested in, whatever. But yeah, they wanted me to check them out for them. So we're here and we're uh, on a mission to go find them again. All right, let's go. That's a cool truck right there. That is super cool. Has a thinning, thinning hood. All right, I see him down there. Every time you come here, there's something new. Look at this big old wrecker. Look at this. The boom, the tree is growing around the boom. And it's tucked in here in the woods. Look at that old thing. Man, that's neat. I didn't even see this last time. We're getting sidetracked. It's a Tulsa winch. See that? Tulsa winch. Pretty darn cool. Old Ford. Maybe it's some kind of crane winch wrecker truck. I don't know. All right, let's go find this Chevelle. All right, there's a two door too many with the 307. That's really, really rough. Here it is, here it is. So, Mr. Terry was telling me that this car years ago was actually pretty decent, but it's really shot now. Look at this thing. Ooh, there's not much left at all. I don't know why. Someone wanted to see this one, but let's check it out. What are those wheels? Those look like Oldsmobile wheels. A little Malibu, there's nothing left of this thing. That light green, the dark, the green vinyl top. Got a bumper. Yeah, this thing is junk. Headlight, headlight rings. Steering columns gone. I don't think there's anything at all savable on this thing. Like nothing. It's it needs to be crushed, I guess. Someone will probably get be upset with me on that one, but it looks really, really bad. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. It's gone. That's scrap metal. Really, scrap metal. And then that four door, there's nothing to that one either. That's that's all scrap metal also. Let's go see if we find that firebird for the gentleman and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully that one has some parts on it that he wants, but that old girl, yeah, she's gone. That ship sailed, gone. Again, every time you come through it, there's something else. Just found this old, old farm equipment. The wheel on this side, it's old John Deere. John Deere number three. I wonder what that one was. And then here you got another big old piece of equipment, a big plow, harrow. So it's got some harrow discs on the front. A little controller here and then a double blade plow. Ah, that's really nice. That would look really pretty out in front of a house, like in a flower garden or something. That's really, really cool. Thunder, uh, not Thunderbird, Firebird. We're on a mission to find that Firebird for him. It's my Pontiac out there. I love that car. 
All right, we made it to the Firebirds. So we got this late 70s Firebird here. 81. I don't know. Little Firebird sticker on the side there. These cars are just, it's such a shame. They're all shot. It makes me sick. It's sad. There it's all rotted. All through here. It's another one. Tell me some stories. What did you do, Mr. Firebird? But this is the one I think the gentleman was interested in here. It's got the uh, like shaker style hood going on. And if I remember correctly, the last time we were here, we looked. Yeah, there's no motor. This one here doesn't have an engine at all. It does have, looks like the original rally wheels on it, which are pretty cool. But it's, it's rotted really, really bad. Bunch of you know, spare parts inside. The tail light grills, the tail lights are in here. Look at that shifter. Remember that, what's that, it's a reverse locker, wasn't it? What was that, the Hearst, oh man, I'm getting old, I'm forgetting things. That wasn't a dual gate, what was that? But it had the aftermarket gauges there. Oh yeah, they had this thing pimping out. These cars remind me of a parking lot back at Norwich Tech in high school. So this is part of the part of the deck with something happened to it. I do not know. But yeah, that's it there. It's it's pretty gone. The wheels? I don't know. Could you save those wheels? They look like they're a couple of them are still holding air. Let's look at this last Camaro over here that caught my eye, and then, then we gotta go. Yeah, more. Got Pontiac nose. But missed this Camaro last time I was here. Someone's hot rod Camaro. Look at this baby. What year is this thing? What is this, like a 71? I was trying to see if there was a... I remember they used to have the name in the taillights. Oh, the, the, not the name, the year. I'm not sure. Someone had some big old tires in the back here. Look at that meat. Still holding air. 275, 60, 15s. This one has definitely has a vegetable garden in it. It has like a racing seat. Can you see that through the glass? Well, one racing seat. And it's got this fancy hood. Fiberglass hood. What a mean looking hood. Oh, it's funny, look at this. Look at that. Looks like they took a bumper and just cut it. Is that like a homemade split bumper? That's what it looks like to me. That's how you make your own 70 and a half split bumper, I guess. See if there's anything under the hood. Something peeking under there. Whoa! She got a big block. She got a big block hiding under there. Holy macaroni. Look at this. Man, you never know what's around the corner. I wonder what's in this thing. I wonder if it's blown up. But man, it's got a big block. Aluminum intake. Get the old, looks like a double pumper to me. Is that old Holly double pumper? HEI? Oh, we gotta inquire. Inquiring minds wanna know. Totally walked by that last time. That's super cool. Why would it end up here in a junkyard? It had to be a blown up motor. I don't know. I'm going to ask Mr. Terry about that one. That's cool. And more, there's another Firebird here. I think he was interested in that one, but we got more Firebirds. 
There we go. Sent you for a loop there. It's funny how that whole the whole roof panel, the hood panel came right off. Look at that thing. It's got the old six bangeroni, little straight six. 75. More of those Pontiac rallies. Tag. Alabama. Oh, it's a firefighter. Thank you, Mr. Firefighter. That's really cool. May. We can't see the year. Can't make out the year. Here, another. Oh, another one. Rod it to the gills. Another 81. The Trans Am. Is that a Trans Am? It says Trans Am on the, on the fender there. A lot growing in there. They tried saving the engine at one point with a plastic bag, but that's kind of gone. Yep. I think it's full of water. Something's telling me. Pretty cool. All right, gang. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. We're going to see what's up with that big block and that Camaro. That's got me intrigued. I don't know what I would use a big block for, but big blocks are cool. No replacement for displacement. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If there's anything else here that you've seen while I'm wandering, let me know, and uh, we'll come check it out a little closer and make another little quick video on them. There's a lot of stuff here, all over. Oh, MG Triumph things, I mean, you name it. There's a lot of stuff. See you soon, y'all take care. Bye now.